friends, it's April 2nd and um, I'm gonna have to start mowing. And so I, I generally do a little vlog just to show what the yard looks like when I start and uh, kind of to keep track of when I have to start. So this year is fairly early. It's been a very mild winter. This is the first time I've had to mow around a fence. So thus begins my new uh, little adventure of how am I gonna keep this fence? I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of weed eating. I thought about doing gravel around the border, uh, kind of like what I've done over here. It's kind of already started doing a little bit of that. Maybe pile some gravel up and then spray it. So it may be that since I can get gravel pretty cheap around here, gravel's fairly inexpensive. I could buy some loads and uh, start doing that just to keep from having to weed it around this crazy fence. But here's kind of how ragged you see things are looking. It's not like the grass is growing tremendously yet. Just a whole lot of weeds and stuff coming up. I actually think these things are really pretty. They are just weeds. Folks, I don't know what all, I, I don't know a whole lot about plants. I'm not a big plant person like my wife is. I just know I gotta keep them beat back. So yeah, I'm gonna mow this ditch and hill here with a little push mower. I've created a gate on the back side that I can drive a riding lawnmower through. I think Nikki's been out, picked up some poop that Hendrix had done. And I gotta walk around and make sure all of his toys are up out of the way. Just gonna even the grass up here for the, uh, for the Easter family visits and stuff that are gonna take place. This is beautiful, this crab apple tree. Wow, really pretty. It was cold last night, there was a freeze. But Nikki bought this about three years ago and boy, it's really thriving. It was a much smaller, thin little old tree. But I'd say it's about probably 12 feet tall now. Really pretty. This is the uh, lawnmower my Dr. Tom Meek had borrowed and he had it uh, repaired for me and cleaned all up. So I'm gonna use that, it's a total push mower. Go up and down the outside here. I thought I'd give it a shot and see how it runs. And especially since it's been kind of refurbished. So we'll get uh, some shots of how the yard looks before and after. Okay, so here is everything after being mown. <laughs> Mowed, whatever the word is. And so yeah, I'm gonna face a challenge with these edges here for sure, around the fence. It's pretty easy to mow up close to them with the little mower, a little push mower that I have. But I'm gonna to have to come up with some sort of strategy. I hate to uh, just kill the grass there and have just dead looking grass. I'm thinking the way to go would be to put better than that right there, more like what we're seeing up here ahead of us, kind of gravel around the fence and then spray that so that it's not just old bare dirt like what we see there. The other thing I'm gonna have to do, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and shovel all these little dirt while I've dug these holes. I'm gonna have to shovel that all up because it just doesn't, it's not easy to mow around. Here's how the little path looks now that I've finished putting a little rock wall around it. I shot some pictures of it, put it on Facebook last week. I think I did do a, uh, yeah, I did a video about that. Nikki came and picked up some sticks and stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna burn a bunch of the stuff that's over here tonight and make us a little fire. Uh, so that's that's coming. I see Nikki went and put the, the toys, the dog toys up against the trees and stuff. So, so I wasn't going to mow around where the mulch is. <clears throat> I'm using an app called Movie Pro to shoot this. I'm just shooting it with an iPhone. And I have the stabilization set to something called Cinematic, which I do not know what that looks like. It looks like it's very stable. I mean, I, I, if I were walking around with no stabilization, I would see a whole lot of shake in this. So this is somewhat of a test. It's a yard video. But it's also something of a test here to see how this cinematic stabilization works. I am hopeful that the figs I planted down here will eventually bear. I don't know. The bad weather comes in across that gap over there. And so there's a fig tree right there in the foreground. Peaches and pears and apples don't mind the bad weather at all. But the figs need a little bit more care. So the one that I have on the back side of the house where the wind doesn't hit it so much and everything, the harsh weather, it probably had 300 figs on it last year. It was fantastic. I love it. This is the 
This is the crookedest apple tree. When I planted it, I swear it was straight. I should have put something in the ground. I started to, to put some of those little cables and try to cable it up. I sort of just let it do what it wanted to do. All the apple trees decide to lean. You can see which way the wind blows. The wind blows hard from that direction there and apples are just tender. Now the peaches over there in the pears didn't bother them. They're straight as an arrow. So I promise you I did not put crooked apple trees in the ground. They just chose to do that because apples are weird that way. So I have the five apple trees out here and I've got a burn pile. I'm gonna actually burn that here shortly and get that out of the way. But this is sort of how the yard's looking. Still gotta buy a load of mulch I'm going today to dump the trash and get a load of mulch. And we're gonna mulch around all this area here that I tilled up last week. We planted the flocks and it rained a lot. It was kind of a crazy week. So we haven't gotten to mulch or plant the additional things. I'm not even sure what Nikki's putting there. So yeah, I got a bit of a burn day. I'm still gonna take several of those Leland cypresses down over there. Um, thinking about maybe building a building over in that area. And they were put there by the previous owner to block a roadbed, which <laughs> block access to a, a piece of land he didn't own, but which I have bought. <laughs> so no, no big issue, no reason for those to be there now. So yeah, with the cinematic, it's called cinematic uh, stabilization. I'm just shooting 30p in, or, or 1080p at 30 frames per second. I gotta close this gate so Hendrix can come back out. This is the gate that I made and created this gravel ramp here. Uh, Cause it's kind of a low drop off point there. But this is where I drive the lawnmower in. So that's what the reason there's a big pile of gravel here. It actually took two, two pickup truck loads of gravel to create this little ramp that I used to drive up and across. And it worked flawlessly. Today is my first day doing that. I used the stick here since the gate sort of wants to close on its own. I didn't hang it, I guess, the best in the world. So I have to use that to uh, keep the gate open. I got so much more to do. So much more. Every spring is just a challenge. I have to spray some poison around in the gravel to keep the uh, little weeds and stuff from coming up in the gravel. And I need to put some new gravel down. Just so much to do, folks. And we'll start planting things in May. Vegetables and stuff. Peppers and asparagus should be coming up by probably next week or so. Or usually first of April the asparagus starts coming up. So looking forward to that. Over here is the fig tree that is, has thrived. So you can see it's on the back, back side of our property. Might as well walk over here and take a look. It's about eight feet tall now. So I planted this one the same time I planted the others. And it's probably 10 or 12 feet across. I'd say it's at least that. And man, were the figs fantastic on this last year. Loved them. Love the figs, buddy. Fresh ones, if you've never eaten them, you should try them. Fantastic. So perhaps we'll put some more figs or something over here. Blueberries look like they're gonna be loaded down with the uh, blossoms this year. Should have some good blueberries. So many sticks I gotta pick up. Just a lot of yard maintenance. Folks, that's about it. I gotta cut some dead bushes out over there at the house. All these things are coming for me. Just keep me fit, keep me moving around and staying healthy, hopefully. Peace to everyone who watches the channel. Thanks, subscribe, hit the bell. I just do, the, I do this stuff for fun. I do the guitar videos for fun. I do, uh, I try to do everything I, I can to be helpful, not to try to promote me. We do use the money, the funds that I make from monetization to uh, buy a house that we're, we're doing for, it's, it's the house my, that Nikki's mom lives in. So that's where every bit of that money goes. It's so Nikki's mom has a place to live. And so far the YouTube earnings have, have been able to uh, keep us paying the mortgage on that little place, which someday we will own. But yeah, thanks to everyone who watches and subscribes and comments. 
Um, and you know, keep up with my crazy, my craziness. I know it's it's bizarre. You might come here for gardening videos. You might come here for hiking videos, for tech videos, for guitar videos, videos about North Carolina. I know it's a mishmash. It's a mess, but uh, it's everything I think is cool. And I certainly think it's cool to be able to come to y'all and do this kind of thing on YouTube. Again, many thanks for watching, folks. Y'all have a good Easter.